Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to quickly show you how to uh, change the color or remove a background um, in Epson's Garment Creator. So this is really handy if someone sends you a um, logo or something like that and has a white background from a J being a JPEG. Um, so if you go to File, Open, and open up the file. So I just have this file here, uh, the Sofancy logo. So First things first, you can see it completely fills the area and you know you can't get it to go smaller. So you actually just need to move it enough with your mouse so that you get the grab handle and then you can resize it. So you can see here it's uh, small enough now that we can hit all four sizes, sides. But what you can see is that it has that white background which is your, it, it will print like this and we don't want that. So if you go up to the color replacement tab up here in the top right, all you have to do is click transparent and then select the spot that you want to become transparent. So that corner is now gone. Now, if we wanted to do all of the, those areas transparent, um, what we could do is we could uncheck only neighboring area. So neighboring area means anything that's basically connected to it. So we can uncheck it and then do transparent and click it again. However, what it's likely going to do is take out, oops, where, why didn't it do it? Um, all of the white. And so that is actually not what we want to do if we're using a black shirt. Okay. I just wanted to show you what was going to happen so that you know. Now, if you want to um, go back, basically undo, you can't, there's no undo here. But what you can do is in the list here, um, the the um, actions that you made are made in order. So this was the first action that we made. This is the most recent. So we can just delete that and it will go back to how we had it. So now what we wanna do is we just wanna click here and we'll remove um, that transparent piece right there. Oops, it's not, why isn't it doing it? Oh, it's, okay, there we go. And we'll do that again right here. Oh my goodness, why isn't it? Let's go to print settings real quick and try this again. <laughs> okay, so we don't want that. And then we don't want that. And we don't want that, okay? So that's all you have to do. Now, if you wanted to replace, say we wanted to replace all of this, this pink area here or this coral color area with something else, um, you can do that as well. So let's say you wanna um, color replace the coral. You can pick color. And then we're gonna drop right on it. And then we need to decide what we're going to, what color we wanna change it to. So if you wanna change it to something else, you have to find another color that you wanna change it to. So you know you have the color dropper here. The reason that it went to black is because we're on black. So if you wanna change it back, you know, you can, you can go ahead and do that. So there are some options in here to play with. Um, I did just wanna point that out to you. So here's another thing we can do. So let's change it up here. We will pick, let's just pick, let's say we want to make it blue so you can see. Okay, so whatever, wherever that color dropper is, that, <laughs> it kind of is a little bit funky, but um, I did want to show you that you have a couple of options there um, to change that. Now, if you don't like that, which I don't really want that to be that way, I'm just going to, again, delete it. But the thing that I will, that I do think you will find the most helpful is the ability to quickly um, take away a background so that you basically have a transparent um, background there, specifically on logos, it comes in really handy.